honest, this will really make me cry, but this will be the last time that we're ever asked about the show as a group that we will do this. Like, we're not gonna do this again in 15 more years. The Friends cast will always be there for each other, but they say their new HBO Max special is the last time that they will reunite publicly. The long-awaited reunion dropped Thursday, and at the end of the special, the cast gets emotional, realizing that it's probably the last time they will all be together talking about the show for fans. But it won't be the last time they all hang out. I'll tell you one thing, we are not waiting so long to have a dinner. No, no. we're not. No. We will not wait that long to get together. And they agreed that it was nice for a few days to be back on the old Warner Brothers soundstage, back in the apartment and coffee shop sets they called home for 10 seasons. I knew it was going to be awesome to see these five people. What I did not take into account was being back on the sets and no. in this environment. And it's, uh, it's, um, it's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> we became best friends who just the, the chemistry, the whole thing. It was life changing and it forever will be, not just for us, but for people who watch it. And all that echoes what the cast told E.T. about their tight bond, even 17 years after the show wrapped. All I can say is that there was something that was laid down at the very, very beginning that kind of went into our neural pathways that we instantly, it was in our DNA that we were family, we were going to take care of each other. It's unexplainable, but we're the most grateful women that I know who have been able to be a part of something like this. It's a very loving, tight-knit group. And yeah. when we see each other, it's a, it's a very heartwarming thing. From the first table read of the pilot, without having met a any of the others beforehand, we all felt kind of an instant chemistry going way back. But during the HBO Max special, the cast explained why they aren't down to bring back their famous characters. They ended the show very nicely. Everyone's lives are very nice, and they would have to unravel all those good things in order for there to be stories. And yeah, I don't want anyone's happy ending unraveled. So safe to say this reunion really did mark the end of an era. And the whole thing had the cast super emotional. Oh, hi. Hello. Oh, holy crap. Oh, weird. All right, well, where's the tissue box? <laughs> The cast got teary-eyed seeing the set for the first time in nearly two decades. Wow. It's, I mean, this is beautiful. It's beautiful. Look at that. Matt LeBlanc wiped away Courtney Cox's tears, and Matthew Perry got choked up talking about how they are all still friends all these years later. The best way that I can describe it is after the show was over, at a party or any, any kind of social gathering, if one of us bumped into each other, that was it. That was the end of the night. You just sat with that sat yeah. with the person mm -hmm. all That's night true. long. I remember that. And that was it. No, but really, where are the tissues? I'm not it, laughing, I'm crying, because it's so true. That's the way it worked. Mm -hmm. When E.T. sat down with the cast, they opened up about being all in their feels and those tear-filled moments. It was the most emo. I, 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 I had slept so well the night before, woke up, I wasn't nervous at all, I was just feeling good. The first question, like, how do you feel? I was like, <gasps> and then started crying. And then I walked on the set and I had no idea that seeing everything look exactly the same and these incredible friends that even though I see these two a lot, yeah. I, I still was just like, Jenny, are you crying as much as me? She's like, yeah. <laughs> it was just the most emotional thing and once her, Gates opened, then it was I just... I couldn't shut it yeah. off. You couldn't even... I had to plug it. I didn't... No, nothing. 